Hi everyone and welcome to today's wow. webinar on Wallace and Fortuna, an expeditionary voyage. My name's Diane and I'm a sales executive for Coral Expeditions. Um, today we have a fantastic itinerary to share with you and a wonderful guest who will be speaking to the itinerary as well. So as we dive into this itinerary, um, we can see that we depart from Cairns all the way to Auckland. Uh, we will set sail on the 16th of December 2022 um, and this will be an inaugural expedition to the South Pacific Islands of Wallace and Fortuna, which is about 2000 nautical miles into the South Pacific Islands. Any guests that will be traveling with us, um, it will be a first for coral expeditions and you will be uh, joining in, in the footsteps of the ancient Samoan traders, pioneering European settlers and 19th century French missionaries. There is no fixed day-to-day -day itinerary. This is a blue ocean expedition for only the most intrepid explorers. And to give you a little bit more information about this itinerary um, is our wonderful expedition leader, Ashley Peters. Ashley, thank you so much for joining us. Um, take it away. Thank you so much, Diane. I'm very excited about this new itinerary. Um, so as mentioned, I have been with Coral for just over a year now and within the travel and tourism industry for over 10 years. Um, so my main role here with Coral is the expedition leader on board. I have a wonderful team of crew underneath me and we take all of the guests out uh, every day on all of their excursions. We plan and facilitate everything. Um, so all of the fun stuff, that's what we um, do with all of you. Uh, so my sort of stepping stone into the industry was my passion for one, the ocean and also for hiking and the great outdoors. I grew up doing this and uh, it sort of just led into me here with Coral, starting in aviation actually, and then ending up with the maritime industry. Um, one of my favorite memories that I've had sailing with Coral was probably a few months ago here up in the Kimberley where I am at the moment. Uh, we went to a place called Crocodile Creek. Uh, it's not as scary as it sounds. <laughs> um, it's this beautiful little sort of swimming hole. So you come through the mangroves um, and then you climb up this ladder that's been put there by the mining um, companies that are not far away. And then you get up into this beautiful swimming hole that has a cascading waterfall there. Um, and it was absolutely spectacular. You get the red rocks of the Kimberley and then it's just freshwater swim. So that's a little bit about my role and what I do here with Coral. Um, so we'll move on to this wonderful new itinerary. Um, so if I can move to the next slide. So obviously the main areas that we are aiming to get to is Wallace and Fortuna. Um, but just wanted to reiterate that this is a very exploratory expedition. And the one thing that I'm most passionate about when it comes to expedition type cruising is the places that you visit. They're very, very remote and often not a lot of people can get to these locations. So as an example, when it comes to Wallace and Fortuna, you only get about 100 people per year that actually visit those two islands and three cruise ships. Wow. So that just gets gives you the idea of how remote, remote these places are. Absolutely. Sorry. Yeah, so it's absolutely fantastic. And you'll come up to these beaches and you'll land on the Zodiacs or in the Explorer. And often we haven't been there before, just like, you know, Wallace and Fortuna. Um, and then there'll be absolutely nowhere, nobody there and a lot of the flora and fauna and marine life, it's super beautiful and untouched. So this is just makes it a super oh, spectacular. Just incredible. In. And, and what a place to spend, yeah. spend your Christmas and New Year as well. I know, yeah. yeah. So um, you'll be out in the wilderness, experiencing all that beautiful marine life, sea life, bird life, um, and you'll have it all to yourselves, which is pretty special. Uh, so given the nature of this as well, uh, we do like to say, um, a lot of the places we may or may not be able to stick to the itinerary, as Diane has mentioned. Uh, the master, myself and my team, we all work alongside to obviously make changes to the itineraries where necessary. Um, and this can be due to a lot of things. It may be the weather, um, the local communities may have some event on that we weren't aware of. So we may not be able to go into these locations. 
can be safety. There's a lot of um, different things that can happen, um, but obviously we we try to make and maximise your experience to you know to, to be the best for you. So um, it's true expeditionary style voyage, um, and you know most of the itinerary are going to remote atolls and rarely visited areas in the South Pacific. So. It's absolutely spectacular and um, I'm very excited about it. So I know, and that, that is the exciting be... part is that you don't really know where we're going along the way, um, you know, and, and places that none of yeah. our guests have been to before. So uh, that really is the exciting yeah. part. Yeah, it is. Um, we also have onboard experts as well that will be joining us. So guest lecturers, um, biologists, uh, geologists, etc. cetera. So um, when you're not, on board or sorry not on board when you're not offshore doing your activities they're on board and they'll be giving you plenty of activities and educational presentations all Brilliant. about the area um so yeah it's fantastic so we'll just go to the next slide here um so as you can see here this is an absolutely stunning picture of pristine um conditions and snorkeling obviously mm -hmm. so two of the main places we go to um one of them being wallace it actually has one of the world's largest and best lagoons. Um, there are about 15 uninhabited islets that are sort of dotted around the lagoon, uh, which, you know, and obviously not many people go there. So the snorkeling and swimming conditions and the coral Incredible. will be ab yeah, absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Fortuna is a little bit different. So Fortuna is more of a, um, so they're both volcanic and the Fortuna is a higher altitude volcanic island. Um, and there's lots of natural scenery, like rivers that flow around. There are taro crops and terraces that you can look, look out over the island at the beautiful scenery. Uh, and then we've also got Nui as well. So um, I don't know if any of you have been to Nui, but this is known often as the rock. So it's actually a coral island, um, which has a high section and then a lower section. Um, there's towering limestone cliffs, so anyone that's into geology, that's fantastic. Mm. And then you have the flat coastal terrace area, which is surrounded by spectacular coral reef. Um, again, a wonderful place for swimming if we can get you in the water, snorkeling, and hopefully discovering some of those limestone, limestone caves. Uh, lots of flora and fauna. So hopefully we'll get to see if there's any birders out there. There are red-footed boobies masked boobies, brown boobies, um, frigate birds, noddies, eastern wattled honey eaters. We also have wonderful uh, marine life that we'll hopefully be able to see like the spinner dolphins, several species of octopus, uh, a lot of sea snakes, specifically in Nui actually, hawksbill turtles, rays, sharks, you name it. So for anyone that's excited about wildlife, this is your spot. You'll definitely get to see um, lots of wildlife and then beautiful coral as well. So that's a little bit about the geology and the flora and fauna that you will see in the area. Um, we'll go into the history of it. So uh, this is a Polynesian um, area. So obviously you can see here the beautiful island culture, which is fantastic. So Wallace was actually populated 3,400 years ago by ancient Austronesian Lapita people. Um, and they are renowned for their distinctive pottery, which has been found throughout the South Pacific, which is how they can date back to where they've come from. Uh, and then before that, it was the Tongan Empire that extended its influence um, in the 15th century. Uh, so there's close ties with Tonga and also Samoa in the islands here. And then obviously the Europeans came through in the 18th century and um, 1837 and set out to convert the population to Catholicism actually so um, that's a little about the history there so with the two main religions that we have are Catholic and Christian your Wallace and the Fortuna are your Catholic side of the religion and then Vanuatu and Nui are primary Christians so um, as I mentioned the Catholicism came through with the Europeans they converted everybody over um, then you also have obviously a Polynesian um, culture that's still very, very prominent. So uh, Wallace and Fortuna are actually a part of the French um, embassy, but they still practice their Polynesian culture. So um, they still go, they still have kingdoms. 
So there is one kingdom in Wallace, and then there are two kingdoms in Futuna, which means they also have kings as well. So they follow that tradition, which is great, um, and it's a, a wonderful tradition to carry on. Um, they also do things like their carver ceremonies still, which a lot of you will probably know from Fiji. Uh, they do their local dances with their beautiful ceremonial wear. Uh, and then a lot of them still to this day use the earthen oven, which is the umu, or in the Māori culture where I'm from, it's the hangi. So if you're not uh, familiar with this, this is where you do the slow steaming of food underground. So you'll dig a hole, wrap the food in your banana leaves and then cover it with dirt, palm or banana leaves, and then you'll cook it for several hours. So it's really fantastic that they still follow through with this beautiful Polynesian culture. Um, in this picture here, this is actually a Tongan um, temple that's still here. So once again, you get to see all of the different cultures and where they've come from. So this is the Tongan influence. There's a little bit of Samoan influence. Um, and the language is also based off the Tongan and Samoan language here in Wallace and Futuna as well. So, so yeah, wonderful, rich history, a lot of religion and culture for anyone that loves that. Um, and otherwise, we will be at sea for quite a few days. So this is the lovely coral adventurer here, looking all beautiful. Uh, so this will be the ship that uh, we'll be traveling on. She's my baby. <laughs> So, and a few sea days, but we have lots of activities to do on board when we're at sea. So um, over here on your top left here, or your top right, which is where you're looking at it, we do things, bridge tours. So you'll get to go into the bridge, talk with the captain and the bridge team. Um, and they'll, you know, take you over all of their day-to-day -day life, what they do, navigation. If you've got any questions about the vessel, then they'll be able to take you through that. And then we also do engine room tours, which are personally one of my favourites. Yes, you get to go down I love a good engine room tour. One. <laughs> yeah, they're really, it's really fantastic. And yeah. surpri not surprisingly, so clean. Mm. Um, that's one of the comments when it comes out. I'm like, you've got to be clean. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, go through, do your engine room tours, learn all about the engines, see what, what the workings are underneath the ship, which is fantastic. Um, we often do navigational lessons as well, and um, we've got wonderful people that will do your lectures. So lecturers that will take you through uh, all of the flora, fauna, history, all of our you know marine biologists or anyone like that. They'll have specific talks for you, so you can go along and listen to those as well. And what else do we do? We do plenty on board. Next slide. So here we have our chefs. So often they'll take you through a little cooking demonstration as well. So get involved, you'll, they'll demonstrate and then you can get up and do it yourself and they'll cook it for you and then you'll get to snack afterwards, which is fantastic. Right. Uh, Pre wine. Yeah, so the wine. So uh, wine tasting, you'll learn all about where wine tasting comes from. You'll get to try our premium bottles on board, which is fantastic. A bougie afternoon on board. Nice. Um, obviously, beautiful meals, breakfast, lunch and dinner, um, often cocktail classes and things like that. Uh, depending on your crew, we sometimes have um, yoga and qigong on board. So relax on the decks up here. And um, I take qigong and yoga sometimes. So um, we've got plenty to do, quiz nights, games nights. And for Christmas and New Year's, uh, we often do little parties. So last New Year's, I was on board and I did four countdowns because Brilliant. everybody was, yeah, <laughs> four countdowns. Fiji, then I did Brisbane, I did somewhere else. And I can't remember because everybody was just wanted me to keep going. So four celebrations. Yeah, really That's great. Yeah. And um, we all all the guests and the crew got up and we did the nut bush together. So we've got plenty of exciting things to do when you're not um, you know, doing all your activities off board. Fantastic. So. But yeah, that's a little well, bit about the trip. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, um, Ash. You know, it's it sounds like you're getting a little bit of everything, you know, that real expedition style, exploratory culture, history, um, bird yeah. life, marine life, um, mm -hmm. you know, 
who wouldn't want to do this trip over over Christmas and New Year's and with the family, you know, yeah. it's, it's such a great trip for everybody to join. So, um, you know, and, and, yes. and easy ports in Cairns and Auckland, um, you know, easy places <laughs> to get to as well. Um, so, you know, what a what a wonderful yes. expedition. Um, I, I would hope to be joining this one too. Um, such a such a great way uh, yes. to spend spend your holidays. I definitely agree. It's um, a wonderful place and definitely getting to um, Wallace and Fortuna, um, places nobody gets to go to yeah, is something for the bucket list. Yeah, um, awesome, wonderful. Yeah. Ash, thank you awesome. so much um, and good luck with your trip and thank you for joining us today. Um, and you. we'll see you on this trip. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, we will, yay. Yeah. Thanks Ash, take care. Hmm.